I'm doomed to die. And I'll never even get to punch whoever's responsible? Ah, uh, what's the point? Bender, no! Suicide isn't necessarily the answer. It's not a suicide boot, you lard ass. It's a phone boot. They have phones in boots now? Finally, I don't have to lug this cell phone around. Who the hell is this? How did you get this number? Cactus, cactus, cactus. Cactus, cactus, cactus. LA Radio. Cactus, 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 cactus. Cactus, 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 cactus. Cactus, PLA Incorporated. Cactus, 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 PLA Radio. Cactus, 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 Wildernesses of America. This is PLA Radio episode 28, recorded on November 13th, 2010. Today's episode will introduce you to a grouchy old man in Florida. But first you have to put up with a few PLA updates. Mildred L. Monday is dead. A couple months ago, Slacker showed me a newspaper obituary with proof that Mildred Monday had died on February 17th of this year. You might remember my small tribute to Mildred Monday in episode 16 of PLA Radio, and there have always been old prank calls to Mildred on phonelosers.org. If you listen to the September 14th episode of The Phone Show, you'll hear an hour-long tribute to Mildred where we all talk about our memories of Mildred and we call up her sons to give our condolences. I've set up a tribute page to Mildred at phonelosers.org RIP. And at the end of this episode, you'll hear a new song about Mildred Monday by Gunner. In other news, there's a new PLA media pack out, which contains all of our audio, videos, text files, pictures, and more. You can find those by looking at the show notes on phonelosers.org or search your favorite torrent for Phone Losers of America. I've added a new section of prank calls on the website dedicated to people who like to complain about businesses on Twitter. By searching Twitter for phrases like horrible customer service or words like sucks, we can then try and find a phone number for these complainers and make a call about their complaint, such as this one where a lady named Connie complained that the post office lost a package of hers. Hello? Hi, this is uh, Chris Tompkinson from the regional center with the post office. Hi. Hi, and uh, we we noticed a a tweet from you on your Twitter account today, Mm -hmm. and we wanted to let you know you need to take that down or we're going to take legal action against you. You cannot slander our company like that. We're very upset about it's this. It's not. I mean, I don't understand why it's slander when it's, it's a problem that I had, and I, you it's know, it's complete slander. You complain. It's you, not. You lost slanderous. the package, I mean, and it's not our fault. And it, the, I'm sorry. You lost the package, and that's not our fault. And it needs to be taken down. I didn't or, lose the package. You lost the package. We're going to have you served with a, a lawsuit if if you don't take this down immediately it needs to be down by tomorrow morning or some, something's going to happen i mean i i can take it down but i just want to let you know that you know you're going to no, you don't need you're going to gonna have to re- I, i'm happy to i'm fine with taking it down and i just did but you just should know that uh, you think you it's know, okay to like write lies the, on twitter i just want to let you know and tar- first of all <laughs> it's really unacceptable to call this late at night like you can call during business hours i work the evening shift and, and there's nothing else i can do okay I'm sorry? I work the evening shift and there's nothing else I can do. I, I'm, this is the only time I can call you. I tried calling an there's hour ago. There's nobody else who works. <laughs> well, I'm handling, I, I deal with Twitter complainers, you know, chronic complainers that just like to try and get free things out of life. Well, I and, don't want anything free. I just want my package back. You know, it sounds like you're trying to like, you know, just you're, you're hoping the news will pick this up and then, you know, a big thing will be made out of it. And I don't get, care about the news. I just want free. my package. And I mean, if it happens again, we're not going to let you in the post office. You know, you're going to have to get used to using um, UPS or whatever, because we're not going to let you, we're going to like ban you from the post office. So it, don't do it again. Do you understand? Have a okay, good day. Fine. Have, have you know a good what, day. Don't, can I take down your name and number, by the way? I already told you it's Chris Tompkinson. I'm with the regional post office. So you have a nice night and, you know, I want learn your number. To be... No, I'm not giving you the number. Goodbye. You can listen to more calls to Twitter complainers by visiting phonelosers.org slash complainers. You can now purchase a Phone Losers of America book on our website. The PLA book contains stories that many of you are probably familiar with along with some new material and stories based on old issues of the PLA zine and one story even based on an old episode of PLA radio. Information on the PLA book can be found at phonelosers.org book. 
And now prepare yourselves for Grouchy Old Man, beginning with a news report from WPBF in Florida, which started the whole thing. Weisenstein's problem is that some people trying to call the South County Courthouse go to Google, type in some search terms, and may come up with a listing not for the courthouse, but for Weisenstein's private number. But since he was dealing with the internet giant Google, he thought this would be an easy fix. But seven months later, Weisenstein says he's losing patience with Google. This is not the courthouse. I'm so sorry. You got the wrong phone number. Where did you get the phone number from? Despite the fact the courthouse is in Delray Beach, when people who live in Boynton Beach Google Boynton Beach Courthouse, they say they get Weisenstein's number. And sure enough, when he Googled Boynton Beach Courthouse, it shows Palm Beach Courthouse, court judge, my phone number. After getting up to 25 calls a day for seven months, Weisenstein has tried repeatedly to contact Google to fix a mistake. The phone just constantly rings, constantly rings. It's aggravating. I'm so sick. Of, I'm so sick of it. I, I can't take it anymore. Weisenstein says the worst part, now a Google security guard has started calling him, telling him he's harassing Google and they're going to bring charges against him. Weisenstein says he just wants his phone number fixed. I don't need these people calling me at 7 o'clock in the morning for the courthouse. Live in Delray Beach, Terry Parker, WPBF, 25 News. This was a televised news show which actually zoomed in on the computer screen in Grouchy Old Man's house, which clearly showed his home phone number. And of course, I couldn't resist calling up the phone number once the news station showed it to me. Hello? Oh, hello. I'm calling from Michael Weinstein. Who's this? Uh, this is Chris Tompkinson from Google. Yeah, hi. Hi. Can I help you? Uh, I just want to let you know that we had re received your request to uh, have your number uh, removed from that page, and uh, it'll be off of there within a couple of days. <laughs> You know, this is going on for seven months. Oh, well, I'm very sorry about that. I just want to let you know that we've taken care of it. Yeah, how did you get my? How, how did you get the information? Where'd you? Who are you from? Media? Uh, no, the the news had called us and let us know about the problem. Yeah, you're from Google Media. That was almost a month ago. Yeah, we we. I'm getting 25 phone calls every single day. Oh, uh, I'm very sorry about that. We get a lot of. I got a lot of 14 phone calls midnight last night. 14. Wow. I've done it online, and nobody's done anything. They were nasty as hell to me. I have an 88-year-old mother-in-law that's been getting phone calls seven o'clock in the morning. I was just calling to let you know that. We, I was just calling to let you know we finally taken care of it for you. Yeah, finally after seven months. Yeah, well, I, I was just hoping you'd appreciate it, though. Appreciate it? I've had a heart attack since then. I, I'm serious. I got medical records. Because of Google? Because I'm getting aggravated. Because every time I call, there's no tech support. Oh, yeah. We d Nobody does anything. We, d we don't have tech support here or Google. Well, I know. I, hey, I know that. And the receptionist hung up on me 10 million times. And she said, too bad. You can't, I can't do anything. I asked to speak to a supervisor. Nobody spoke to me. Yeah, but we are taking... It's a little ridiculous the way you run your, your program there. Yeah. Well, this is what happened is we, we let the janitor help us with putting phone numbers in, and he, he put your number in instead of the courthouse. The janitor? Yeah, he was out there mopping, and I'm just like, you know... You can help us, because we were short-staffed that day. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Chris Tompkinson. And you're from Google. What is a direct, is there a direct phone number for, for you if, in case, you know, nothing gets done? Because I still get phone calls. I've gotten so many phone calls today. It's going to take a couple days for it to kind of cycle through, and, and then it'll be fixed, and your number won't be on there anymore. That's fine. Yeah, but is there a direct number for you? I don't want to give you that, because I, I don't like getting strange. Well, uh, why not? I don't like getting calls all day from people I don't know. Well, you won't get calls all day. I just want to know, just so I have it on record. Oh, actually, April Fools. I'm not really Google. He <laughs> he. Isn't that funny? We're, we're not fixing anything. It was all just a joke. Do you get it? Who the fuck are you, man? I'm, I'm an April Fools prankster. Oh, you are. Huh? Uh huh. Do you think it's funny? You're a fucking asshole if you're not from Google. The day that I made this call actually was on April 1st, so you'd think that the grouchy old man could have seen the humor in my phone call. But apparently not. I called him from a Google Voice phone number so he could see my caller ID, and I even put a new message on my voicemail, claiming that I was calling from Google. As expected, he immediately called me back and left a message for me. Hello, this is Chris Tompkinson from Google East. I'm away from my desk right now. If you will leave your name and phone number, I will get back to you as soon as possible. Yeah, Mr. Chris, you know, I don't think that was kind of funny. I got it on recording, and you know something? I got a lawsuit against you guys, and you're gonna make, you're gonna pay for it for what you just did. I swear to God, you are gonna pay for it. 
grouchy old man continued to call me back for the next hour, and I finally picked up the phone and talked to him for a few minutes. Here's that conversation. Hello? You know something? That was not funny. I thought it was funny. That really wasn't. It's April Fool's. I don't think so. I don't care. That wasn't funny. I thought... I'm serious. That was not a joke on what I'm going through. You don't know what I'm going through. You really don't. I'm sorry. I thought it looked right. I had to get the pool. Hey, listen, pal. I had to get the police here the other night because I've been getting phone calls all night. Uh Uh-huh. And the stupid thing is, is that you called me with a caller ID from PA, and then you do this game. I I thought it would brighten up your day with, like, an April Fool's joke. No, it did not brighten up my day. It got me a little bit more pissed off. Cool. It really did. I thought I thought it would help you. No, nothing will help me when when I'm going through for the past seven months and nobody's helping me from Google. Why don't you change your number? Why should I change my number? I have the number first. Well, that way you. If your like, janitor entered it wrong, it's not my fault. Well, I, it's not my fault. He's an idiot. I guess. Hey, let me ask that's you why something. he's a janitor. Let me ask you something. Listen, Chris. If, let me ask you something. If I buy a house, somebody comes over to me and says, "Hey, you got to move out." Do I have to move out? It's my house first. Why should I change my number when I had it first and I got hundreds of people that have my number and Google wouldn't even change it even though I did it on the computer for three months? That seems like it'd be a lot easier than going through all this, just like all the phone calls. Oh, I shouldn't have to change my number. You guys should enter it correctly. You know something? My number is not even close. To what the courthouse number is. Not even close. I'm not even with Google, though. It was an April Fool's joke. I was just kidding around. Yeah, when I called back, it said you were from Google. That, that was part of the joke. Oh, well, part of the joke on your recorder. You know something? Uh-huh. I have a lawsuit, and you guys are screwed. And I got your number, I got your name, uh-huh. and you did the wrong thing, pal. I'm telling you. You did the wrong what, thing. What, playing an April Fool's joke on April 1st? Listen, son of a bitch. I'm telling you. Listen. You did the wrong thing. I ain't playing games here. What do you think? I went on the news for nothing? I went on the news for my health? <laughs> I have an 88-year-old mother-in-law that needs phone calls at 7 o'clock in the morning? And you play this stupid joke? You should turn off the ringer. You know something? You should shut your mouth. Because you're in trouble now. I'm telling you. Your name is on my list. Goodbye. How, Don't call how me. How big's your list? I'm going to pause the story of Grouchy Old Man right now and force you to listen to some voicemails, but keep listening for the exciting conclusion right after this. You have new messages. Hey Brad, it's Evil Gold. I wanted to ask you what kind of software you use for doing your podcast and uh, for your uh, radio show. But then I remembered that you're you're a Windows user, so I was just going to tell you to um, stop using Windows and use Linux because... Real hackers use Linux and go hack a payphone and make it run Linux, because that's what I do. I only make free calls with free software. Bye. What's up, fuckers? Cactus, cactus, cactus. Um, RBCP, you are the fucking man, dude. Just wanted to tell you that. Also, this goes out to Trevlin, too. Trevlin's the fucking man. Your song, Black Hat Life, the best song I've ever heard in my life. I fucking live by it. Anyways, um, y'all take it easy. And cactus. Hey there, this is Storm. Just thought I'd extend a holiday greeting to the PLA. It's getting to that time of year again. And just hope that you continue your tradition of giving that the PLA is so well known for. We wish you a merry tag. We wish you a merry tag. We wish you a merry tag. And a happy time next. Horizon to you wherever you quest. We wish you a merry tag. And a happy time next. So just happy holidays from Golden Oil Yourself and Unlimited Dead Access. Oh my god, RBCP. I think I got that right. Yeah, so like I just listened to episode uh, 27 and I will say my favorite part was my cameo. But uh, I like the whole thing. I actually listened to, to the entire podcasting uh, thing. I, I don't think I've listened since like episode like 7. So, uh, you know, 20 episodes later I'm back. I'm a fan again. You know, you, you brought me back with this four square thing. I, I, I appreciate that you've, uh, that you've talked me out of using four square because I was right on the verge, and now PLA has uh, helped me make more responsible decisions. 
So thank you, PLA, and uh, I will catch you later. Bye. I am calling you from Indiana to say that I love PLA. I have wet dreams of PLA every night with my sister sizzling me at midnight. I would like your big juicy man chowder all over my face. I love you so much that this is beyond obsession. I want you to fuck me so hard that my boots go dry and never recovered from the beating. I love you, Brad Carter. Hello, good morning, Brad. I am calling uh, regarding about your uh, uh, payphone hack. Uh, it's a 32 digit number you dial and it gives you the free quarters. Uh, I copied the number correctly and uh, it was bullshit. Uh, I did not get anything in the door, okay? I was just letting you know I would gladly appreciate it if in your next podcast you can fix the problem or tell us if there's a new number to uh, press into the machine, okay? Thank you very much, bro. Uh, fuck you. The secret payphone code is the same as it's been for 20 years now. Just last week, YouTube removed my video that showed people how to steal all the money out of payphones, so I had to re-upload it onto my Facebook account. Look at the videos on facebook.com slash bradthecarter, and you'll see the video that has the payphone code in it. Hi Brad, just wondering where you got um, the whole cactus idea from? Uh, Probably some 1990s ancient ritual thing, but... It'd be easy for me to explain the origin of Cactus to you right now, but instead I'm going to be a huge jerk and tell you to buy the Phone Losers of America book instead, where it's explained in the PLA history chapter. You could search phonelosers.org for the origin of Cactus, which is posted several times on the site, but it'd definitely be best for you to give me your money for a book instead. This is the last message. If you'd like to leave a voicemail for PLA Radio, give us a call at 814-422-5309. So, back to Grouchy Old Man stuff. I expected my single prank call to Grouchy Old Man to be the end of my April Fool's Day prank, but it drug on for a little longer than expected when Linear and I decided to call him up before the phone show the following week to do a sound check with us. The calls to him were short, but he yelled at us really good. Hello? Hi. Hi. I'm calling for the courthouse. What's that? I'm calling for the courthouse. Can you hear me okay? At 12 o'clock midnight, fuck you! I need to know if I have jury duty tomorrow. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a very unprofessional courthouse. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna talk to the mayor about this shit. <laughs> i take my business elsewhere. That's the fucking number. Call me again, you're in trouble. You got it? Wait, 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 do I have jury duty tomorrow? <laughs> I think he wants us to call back for a sound check. <laughs> This is so much better than Domino's. What the fuck? Listen. Do I have jury duty tomorrow or not? I just need to know. You're calling 12 o'clock on a fucking midnight, damn it! Don't call me again! I need to know if I have to go in tomorrow. This phone is being traced. I, I I just wanted to apologize for calling you so late. Fuck you. Wait, I want to apologize, and I want to ask you if I do have to go into court tomorrow for jury duty. After our sincere apology to Grouchy Old Man, that was the last call we ever made to him. But later in the show, I was surprised to see his number come up on Skype as an incoming call. Hey, wait a minute. We have a weird call coming in. <laughs> Hello? New Mexico phone number. You call me again, the cops are coming. I'm telling you. Stop calling me. I'm, I didn't I got call. I covered, man. You I just called me New Mexico 505 number. I know. I got you, man. But, I'm but, telling you. But we stopped. Now you're no. harassing us. Listen, pal. Stop harassing. Oh. Stop calling this number. It's too late at night. Stop calling me, goddammit. Stop, stop calling me. You need to go to bed, sir. Stop calling you, goddammit. Goodbye. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that was him. That came from his number. Oh, God. Somebody spoofed called him. It turned out that a listener of the show had also found Grouchy Old Man's number, and he connected him to us, and we thought he was just calling in directly. I don't think we heard from him anymore that night or for the rest of the week, but Grouchy Old Man had the phone show's number now, and he googled it to find out that it was connected to the PLA. I can only assume that he found out he was on our show, because during the following week's show, he harassed us non-stop throughout the entire hour. 
It all began with this call during the very beginning of the show. You'll notice that the introduction music of our show has sound clips of Grouchy Old Man, which I put in there earlier in the week because I thought the calls from the previous week were pretty funny. Telephone. 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 The phone show. Telephone. 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 Stop calling me. Telephone. 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 At 12 o'clock midnight, fuck you! What'd you think of the new intro, Linear? Oh, it's good. It's good stuff. <laughs> so, okay, right now, I'm not making this up. That guy from last week is calling, so I'm adding him. Hello? You know, my dad is a judge, and you guys are really stupid for doing, you know, what you're doing. I'm what, telling you. What are you. I'm being very honest. What are you talking about? My dad is Judge Colin. If you look on the computer, you'll find it. Who is this? Judge His last name is Colin. Colin. You got me, pal. I'm getting the phone calls from you, and I'm not stupid. I'm not, you know? I'm not calling you. I, I, I th- yeah, you know, you're an idiot. Why don't you grow up? No, I'm really and, not and calling stop you. Stop harassing. Listen, why don't you stop, stop harassing, harassing me, people? sir? I did. Why don't stop you stop calling harassing me? And harassing me? me? Yeah, you're the one that called calling me. You all night. I'm going to be calling you all night, man. Stop harassing me. My judge me. got you covered in New Mexico, Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> And you know something? You can get eight to seven years, eight to ten years for this. Eight to, to seven. Doing what you're doing. I'm telling you, for harassing and nuisance. We're not you calling you, sir. So you're the one hey, calling us. You want to so go on phone? You want to go on phonelosers.org? Go for it. You want to put it on the radio? Is that your website? Go for it. Are you the you one who owns that website? They've been harassing me. I got you, you covered, man. And I'm going to harass you until you stop harassing me. I got a so phone from- call. You're from phonelosers.org? You, know, you, you, know, you don't want to grow up, do you? Do you run phonelosers.org? You, you really you don't want to grow losers. up. You've run phonelosers.org and you've been harassing us for that website? And you're oh, admitting yeah, it? I have, huh? Oh, yeah. I got you on my caller ID. You have a okay, caller so... ID? <laughs> Hello, sir? He hung up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He knows about phone losers. Oh, he found the website. I, I think this is Space Bison's fault because I think he might have been calling him just now. Space Bison, <laughs> you should call in and tell us what you've done. Wow. Good times. So this guy knows he's on the radio. Okay, he's calling back. Hello? Go on the computer for Judge Colin and you'll find who my dad is. <laughs> you said Colin. You're screwed, man. Grouchy old man called into the phone show nonstop for the next hour, sometimes yelling at us and hanging up, and sometimes just hanging up without saying anything. Here's a few short clips of his calls to us from that night. Is he listening to the show? Please stop calling, hey, sir. I'm, try- I'm, I'm, I'm trying to sleep, sir. Yeah, good. I'm going to wake Dude, you up, you motherfucker. Wait, I had to go back inside. Okay, here's the old man again. Hello? Tell Chris's answering machine sucks. <laughs> your answering machine sucks. <laughs> Damn it, it does? <laughs> I thought Uh-oh. it was awesome. Hello? I'm going to keep you up all night, man. No, I'm Telling trying you. to... I, have, I got school tomorrow, man. In that area. A colonoscopy? Think yeah. of eight years. Um, hey, think of eight years in jail, okay? For doing what you're doing. Okay? Receiving phone calls? A colonoscopy... We can go to jail for answering I'm your calls. Colonoscopy are not illegal, sir. Doing? We're answering There's your phone calls. There's nothing wrong with the colonoscopy. It's bizarre that he's he harassing up. us and telling <laughs> us we're going to go to jail for it. <laughs> <laughs> are you saying that you're? Well, we're not. Call- are you saying that you're not calling us tonight? Your phone is ringing. Oh, I am tonight. Oh, okay. You bet I am. I thought someone was three-waying you onto us. No, I'm definitely calling you, and you know something. I okay, so you're Jones to harass here. I have Sergeant Jones here knowing and hearing and recording what's going on. Has he got one of those... Jones is recording you harassing us? <laughs> I hope he arrests I'm not harassing you. Has he got you one of those big reel-to-reel me. tape recorders? On hey, the... listen. Listen. All right, you know it's illegal to record phone calls Shut the permission. fuck up, man. you got a mouth on you. You're an idiot. <laughs> Grow up, idiots. man. You guys have a problem. You really do. And Sergeant Jones knows it, too. Can, He's can, right here standing next to me. 
can and he, he knows what's going on. Can he say hello? He's listening to everything on my recorder. Tell him and to I say got hello. You guys recorded. So tell have Sar- a great day. Tell Sergeant Jones to say hello to us. Hey, I, w- I wish you the best of luck and have a fun time. I really do. I want to talk to Sergeant have Jones. A- You're not talking to nobody. Because he's Goodbye. not there. Have a good time. He's not there. <laughs> wow. So I guess he doesn't want the Sports Illustrated issue. <laughs> Apparently not. When I first watched the televised news segment of Grouchy Old Man and heard that Google was threatening to file charges against him for harassment, I had a hard time believing that the old man could be harassing Google enough to warrant charges. But after experiencing non-stop late-night harassment from this guy for an hour, I guess I can believe that there's some truth to Google's claim. Especially after this next call that he made to us, which Jammy answered. Five minutes? Oh, hey, Jammy, here's the, three of them were me? Here's, the yeah. old, here's the old man again. Hello? Yes, Chris Van, may I speak with him? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, he's asleep right now. Can I help you? Uh, it's, it's, he's asleep? I just spoke with him about two minutes ago. I'm, I'm sorry. I, are, are you sure? No, I mean, you're not sorry. I want to speak with him. I just spoke with him a couple of minutes ago. Excuse me, sir. Can you put him on the phone, please? Excuse me, sir. This is, this is a private house. And my yeah, I know is... that. Can I speak with him, please? No, I'm not going to let somebody like you talk to my son like that. Who do you think you Oh, no? Why not? He's supposed to talk to me like that. Can I speak with him, please? I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. Oh, well, wake him, him up. Wake him up. I want to talk to him. Yeah, wake him up. Wake him up. I want to talk to him. Wake him up. I'll, how about I go there and wake you up? I'll wake your kids up. What do you think? Yeah, you wake me up all the time, so I want to wake him up. Why don't you wake him up? I have no idea what you're talking about. Who are you? Yeah, please. Then he's at somebody else's house. Don't give me that stuff. I know he's at somebody's house. Don't give me that stuff. Tomorrow, do you do you understand? Yeah, why don't you wake him up? I want to talk to him. He wakes me up. Hey, he wakes me up. I want to talk to him right now. Thank you. Please put him on the phone. Otherwise, I'll put the I'll put the sergeant on the phone. You hear me? I'll put the sergeant on the phone. I'll put the sergeant on the phone. Then put him on the phone. I'll, I'll talk to the sergeant. Maybe he, he makes a little bit more sense than you do, Mr. Tooth Fairy. Yeah, this, this is John. This is Sergeant John. Can I help you? Hello, Sergeant John? <laughs> Why does yeah, this is Sergeant you? John. I'm getting harassment calls from this guy, Chris, and I want to talk to him, please. <laughs> okay, I'm hanging up on him. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I am Sergeant John. I'm totally fooled. (laughs) That call marked the end of Grouchy Old Man forever. He continued to call the show's phone number for a while after the show ended, but I finally turned off Skype and never heard from him again. He left tons of messages for me, but none of them were interesting enough to play here. Soon after this, we noticed that Google fixed the problem on their website with his phone number, and we also noticed that he changed his phone number around the same time. So I guess he got over the principle of the matter and decided that peace was more important to him. Either that or he had a massive heart attack because of the stress and died. Before this episode ends, I want to share a bizarre thing that I found while calling T-Mobile's customer service number at 888-666-4611. Normally when I call T-Mobile, I can dial a bunch of zeros and skip all of the prompts and get a live person. But four different times this year, after hitting zeros instead of getting a live person, I'm sent to a recording of Dennis Nedry's Unix system from Jurassic Park. The most recent time this happened to me, I happened to be recording it, so here's the recording. T-Mobile, America's largest 4G network and ranked highest in customer service by J.D. Power and Associates. For English, say English. Para continuar en español, diga español o más que dos. To get started, please enter or say your mobile number, area code first. All right, so I can direct you to the right representative. Please choose from the following. You can say... I didn't get that. Please say FlexPay, new service, find a T-Mobile store. Sorry, I'm having so much trouble understanding you. I'll get you over to a representative who can help. Hold on. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality and training purposes. Ah, ah, ah. You didn't say the magic word. So that's kind of weird. I'm not sure why T-Mobile would put that into their system or why it's sometimes triggered and sometimes it's not. All I know is that it's only happened when I've dialed all zeros. 
If anyone has any insight on this or if you know how to hack Unix systems, leave a message for the PLA at 814-422-5309. That's it for this episode of PLA Radio. Here's Gunner's song about Mildred Monday. Rest in peace, Mildred. This one's dedicated to Mildred Monday. Yesterday You were just a phone call away Now there's no one to prank call today Oh, I believe in Mildred Monday Suddenly I'm not half the loser I used to be Mildred Monday's not hanging up on me Oh, you died so suddenly Why she had to go I don't know she wouldn't say I called and got your son by the flow anyway. Yesterday, prank calling was so fun to play. Now I need a new friend to say. Hello, I am Mildred Monday. Why she had to go, I don't know. She wouldn't say. I called and got your son drunk as fuck. And load anyway yeah, oh, Yesterday I was prank calling Mildred Monday Now my phone book is so far away Oh, I believe in Mildred Monday At 12 o'clock midnight, fuck you!